This episode of Ike Sermons is brought to you by the following. Remember when they told you that weed was the bad guy? If weed is the bad guy, then why is it legal now? Checkmate, pothead haters. This strain is like the devil's New Testament. He yells a butt. Smells like a party. It tastes like a revelation. Warning, according to the CDC, the use of Beelzebub, or any marijuana strain or product, may cause memory issues, increased risk of stroke and heart disease, depression and or anxiety. Beelzebub does not cure cancer, nor does any marijuana product. Beelzebub, one more reason to go to hell. In any story, good or bad, what's usually the main focus? Protagonist? Antagonist? A.K. the good guy and the bad guy. Granted, not all stories have a bad guy. But I think that would require a lot more work make such a story interesting. Many stories do have a bad guy or antagonist to give the character something to do like a sport. You know, you can't play football with one team. What kind of game is that? In Knives Out, you have Ransom Drysdale. The Avengers have Thanos. In Game of Thrones, you have shit, pretty much everybody. In the movie Harriet, it's white people. Wait a minute, we're supposed to be talking fiction here. That one's a little too real. And in the Bible, you have Satan, Lucifer, Beelzebub, Metastasis. For many stories, if there's no antagonist or bad guy, the good guy has no story. He's bored. He does nothing. So in the Bible, God's just there wherever there is, since nothing but God existed at the time, doing nothing. And then he makes everything except himself. And uh, before he makes people, I guess the angels already existed. Um, this is important because supposedly the most beautiful angel um, is a God hater and would rather rule in hell than serve in heaven not just that but he takes roughly a third of all the angels uh, and recruits them because they realize God is he's just a bully really <laughs> Satan is this angel and now he is the antagonist and we have a story so according to the bible all the suffering and all that shit we go through is because of this antagonist satan because he wants to bring god's children down into hell with him and that's where all the craziness of the Bible um, begins to happen that's why because of Satan um, you know the God could have made a better story 
without all the suffering. You know, I wonder what he's got against uh, against me now. Because uh, you know, he could have just made a thirteen-year-old girl for himself. You know, instead of uh, taking some shepherd, some pedophile shepherd's wife, which he does after drowning almost all of his children and their pets and their gardens because they are his children, but he wants to hold them to an adult standard i.e. the standard of a god which they can't meet I mean like if a uh, car manufacturer who is seemingly perfect in everything they make makes a new line of cars you know say they make a quarter million of these cars and they have a defect and need to be recalled you're no longer perfect but these children that he loved so much that he had to create them I guess so he wouldn't be lonely and so they could stroke his ego constantly I mean when you're by yourself you got nobody to tell you you're great except yourself anyway these children um, a lot of times don't listen to him and I think there is a good reason why not to. Let's go back to the Garden of Eden and the serpent, which some will argue was not really the devil, and then other ones will say he was the devil, but I'm going to use him as he's either the devil or an agent of the devil. I mean, he had already created the heaven, so he was already there. So why could it not be um, Satan himself? So <laughs> Adam and Eve are in the garden and they can eat from any tree except from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and Satan or the serpent asked Eve why can't you eat that fruit on that tree? Uh, and Eve is all like, Well, God said that the day that we eat that fruit, we'll die that same day. And the devil slash serpents all like, What? God, what a liar. God don't want you to eat that because then you'll know things like he does. And you're not going to die today. Don't you realize that this is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? And once you eat that fruit, then you'll know what's right or wrong. Your eyes will then be open to this knowledge. So anyway, um, Eve takes a bite of the fruit and instantly her eyes are open and she knows some things and she realizes that what she did was wrong but now she knows why it's wrong see god wouldn't say that god just wanted blind obedience just don't eat from that tree well why no we have food at home and she feels really scared then because learning new things can be uncomfortable and she doesn't like that so she wants to share that with Adam and then she talks Adam into it I wonder how she did that so their eyes are now open and they've come to realize that God wants you to be ashamed of your body so they cover themselves up because before somehow they didn't realized they were naked because being naked is evil you know I never understood why in the Bible 
being naked is a sin somehow. Oh, that's why you're born naked, because it's the original sin, being born, and you happen to be naked. I know whenever I'm naked, I'm either having sex or I'm cleaning up after sex. And supposedly this curses all of mankind forever because they had a snack and they realized they had no no parts. So everybody after them, including us and our children, um, are condemned to hell unless we accept um, God's Son, Jesus, who is God, but only kind of, but most definitely. And that's the beginning of your story. Protagonist, antagonist. Kill Face Entertainment sends a warm, happy baby puppy face hug to all subscribers. To receive a personalized shout out, simply subscribe. Listen to me. Thank you. Wow, what a terrific audience. I only have one question. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? I confess it. Crimes and sins are beyond counting. It's fun. Look at the fun we're having. It was good. It was great. I hate you. You suck. Why not simply share? <laughs> <laughs> you drunk. Don't take it personally. I don't entirely trust myself. Oh, are we friends now? Stop that. You're making me uncomfortable. Evil notions in my head. You think you're bad, huh? Woo, woo, woo. Did you hear that? Suck it.